anything that's going on in this space. I know the FTX stuff happened. I mm-hmm. don't even know how to cover that because it's still ongoing. Uh, what are your thoughts? I guess we should talk about it. FTX, do you know what's happening? What are your thoughts? Do you think everything that we're seeing is true? Yeah, there's a ton of speculation. So I don't want to speak in um, in terms of anything being final because none of it is final, right? Now, granted, there are some things that we know clearly happened, right? There was a lot of people's money that is no longer available. That's a fact. We don't have to question that, you know, Um, and it is. So my my heart goes out to all those people, but I think it really goes to show why we need DeFi and why we need regulation um, on these on-ramps to crypto, right? The blockchain itself doesn't need regulation. The blockchain regulates itself. Blockchain is transparent. The blockchain shows everything that we need. Who doesn't show us that are these big exchanges, right? And so I think that's where the regulation needs to be focused on, not necessarily the blockchain or the cryptography space itself, because there's no issues getting accurate information within crypto. And I actually think that's why some people are hesitant to get into cryptos because they don't want to be exposed in that sense, right? But when it comes back to FTX, man, I mean, it's an unfortunate situation. Hopefully we can get the facts. You know, hopefully people can get at least something back, right? It looks like they've at least found certain assets that they can hopefully seize and, you know, kind of liquidate to give people a little bit of a sense that they're kind of being made whole, right? Because I don't necessarily think that all of the money will be back. Um, Hopefully that can be proven wrong in that sense. But um, that's my two cents. I mean, I honestly try to stay out of the speculation too much until the facts are there. Um, But yeah, I mean, my heart goes out to those people and hopefully you weren't impacted. I know I, I personally was not using FTX, so it didn't have any impacts on me or anybody that I know within the crypto space. But I do know that there were a lot of people that were impacted by it. Yeah, and I think it's unfortunate because personally, I haven't been impacted by it. I have nothing on online exchanges. Um, I have a little bit in Coinbase. That's about it. But I have, I have like eight different hardware wallets. I'm a crypto addict, so I mean, there's no issue on that. But for for people wanting to get into crypto, it is difficult because you have a place like FTX where you can more easily get into crypto, but then you also have the fact that now they have the authority and you don't right because you know authority authority over your crypto is is what really matters for security so crypto is complex enough we have to make it easier for individuals to get into the market um when when do you think that will be easier for people do you think that's going to be when like twitter allows people to get crypto easier and the other thing is Like from your perspective, when do you think it will be um, it will be like a one step process for people to buy crypto and feel safe? What do you think has to happen? So I think there's a few different factors. Obviously, you know, platforms like Twitter adopting crypto will push us in the right direction and it'll probably, you know, help us to catch up a little bit. Right. Uh, But again, that that's a centralized entity. Um, I think Mm -hmm. that focusing on a lot of these platforms that are built on top of the blockchain layer itself is is key, right? So getting adoption into platforms like Meld, you know, decentralized exchanges like MinSwap, Wing Riders, the ones that we talked about all before are are what's essentially key, right? Interacting with the actual blockchain itself, I think is, is what's important. But anything that we can get at this point, man, I think will help sentiment, obviously, You know, we're in the bear market. People are kind of depressed. We might see some capitulation happening here very shortly, you know, but again, we we should have a different mindset because this is not the first cycle. It's not the second cycle. It's not the third cycle. We're getting ready to go on the fourth, right? So if, if history is a teacher of anything, it's that this is a grand opportunity right now and that the best is yet to come. 